Hi guys, uh, welcome to my first review of the Puma V1 11 football boots. Uh, I've previously owned the V108 um, in the past in soft configuration and um, for, for firm ground and also the studded for uh, softer ground. So I've purchased the, uh, the V111s. Here they are in the bag. Uh, first impressions obviously you get the, the Puma green logo boot bag. Um, I've actually gone for the white and blue configuration simply because I'm not that keen on the green uh, and I think I'll probably get a bigger ribbing at training if I turned up in green boots uh, than I would in white boots. So there they are, the V111s. Um, first impressions um, I would say is sim similarities to the Adidas um, F50s um, with the with the plastic or leather um, going in front of the um, boot um, to conceal the lacing housing. And you've got the Velcro uh, in place hiding the laces um, there. Um, and I think that's where it sort of ends really with the F50s um, in comparison. Um, the notable change within the V series um, is the weight. Um, these are incredibly light. They've actually got the the weight down to 231 grams for um, for boots, which is immense. Uh, um, and that's probably what they've done is they've stripped out um, on the sole. Uh, they've they've stripped out um, a, a section of housing here, um, and they've put fiberglass in place to to give that extra sort of flexibility. Um, but also give you the the um, the strength underneath, um, so your your foot is always in contact with the ground, or your foot does feel in contact with the ground, um, and that sort of leads me on to the to to, to the, the feeling of this particular boot. Um, they don't feel like football boots, um, to be honest. Um, when I tried them on earlier, um, they feel like a second skin. Um, the best the best way to describe them is uh, I don't know if you guys use um, skins. Um, for for your um, for your top half um, and your and your bottom half, um, these are basically skins for foot for your feet. Uh, they they uh, that's how they feel to me. Um, very comfortable um, uh, and you, they just don't feel like um, football boots. So very very light um, indeed. So if you're after a particular light boot, I'll certainly entertain this um, particular boot. One of the notable um, technology changes on this particular boot, um, as you can see, is you have this um, sort of uh, microfiber, what they call a microfiber dimple effect on the, on this particular plastics. Um, now, I'll show you this side as well. Here, now this is why they've incorporated this into this particular boot um, with the V110s. Um, you know, I, re I read that they weren't particularly successful. Uh, but they didn't have as much flexibility um, in the actual um, level or plastic. Uh, so this dimple effect gives you that flexibility. Uh, so when you are moving uh, and running, um, the, the, the boot sort of moves with your foot as well. Um, so it gives you that added, added uh, flexibility um, when you're playing the game. Um, this, the stud configuration uh, that Puma have implemented is called Uni. Um, I'm just going to sort of put it, give you a sort of a side on view here of this first of all. Um, I think it looks pretty low profile on this. I know this is for firm ground but I'm hoping to use this all season uh, within reason so I'll be really um, really interested to see how this sort of fares in sort of all different types of weather conditions or pitch conditions um, because the, the Puma boot does um, sort of boast that this particular configuration here um, sort of gives you that added grip to the ground. Uh, so, you, you know, you have sort of five stud configuration at the top, and then you have configuration down all around, around the edges, which is pretty unique, and then two smaller ones in, in, in the middle. So what's gonna be interesting is um, obviously when you're moving or trying to move at speed, uh, how it sort of grips around the toe areas. Um, I think it'll be pretty good because you, they're pretty right to the edge. Um, of where your where your toes are, so it'll be interesting to see how how this particular boot actually grips. So those are the sort of the V, the V one 
um, 11s. Um, first impressions, um, as I said, I um, think they look pretty cool. Um, be interested, very, very light. Um, and um, it'll be interesting to see how that the, the new stud configuration um, works. Um, I will be doing another review as well um, after my first game to let you guys know how I got on and how what I what I thought um, of the boot after the game, um, and I'll also show you the boot, see you know how it sort of fared um, in the game as well. Um, one criticism I have of all football boots, um, even how you even if you look after them really well, um, especially with the this plastic coating, that sometimes you can get cracks and nicks out of it. Um, so the life expectancy of boots don't don't last as obviously as long um, as, as 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 they should do. Um, so that's it from me. Um, hopefully, see you again soon, um, and look out for my next review.